Do you ever wonder if the products that you're using are cruelty free or not? For most people, the answer is probably no. Animal testing is a practice used by many cosmetic companies to check if their products are safe for human consumption. However, this practice is extremely controversial and has been banned in a few countries, including India and Israel. While the FDA does not approve cosmetics, they still require many companies to prove that they're safe for human consumption and have not been contaminated or tampered with. China, on the other hand, requires all of their cosmetics to be tested on animals. And this is where a lot of companies slip up in their animal testing policies. <laughs> many companies, like MAC for example, claim their products are cruelty-free, but then they sell in China. This means that they are not actually completely free. If you're selling in a country that requires you to test on animals, then you're not cruelty-free. Another example of shady activity is when brands claim to be cruelty-free, but are actually not really. A good example of this is Urban Decay. They claim to be cruelty-free on their website, but then are owned by their parent company, L'Oreal, who are not cruelty-free. This makes Urban Decay not cruelty-free. Besides the obvious fact that animal testing is just cruel and harmful, it's just plain inaccurate. And, and there's, in a laboratory, it is almost impossible for an animal skin to mirror the reaction of a human skin. A bunny may have a good reaction to a cleansing cream or gel, whereas when it's out in the market, it could affect many different skin types of humans to react, which does not sound good. <laughs> In the end, all we as consumers can really do to stop animal testing is to simply not buy from companies who test on animals. With just a short Google search, you can be provided with all of the knowledge you need to make an informed and ethical decision. Brands like Maybelline, MAC, and Boots No. 7 are all animal testers, whereas Kat Von D, Anastasia Beverly Hills and BH Cosmetics all do not. Even if you are um, not anti-cruelty free and you don't really care that much about being cruelty free, it is still important to you as a consumer to know where and how your cosmetics are being made.